Akeem Warwick. Um, I'm pretty excited to have those guys coming in, being part of the organization. Uh, I'll start with Robin. Um, we we want to, to fill the center position, and um, we feel like Robin fits in with our timeline, a young player uh, that has experience in the league and will have an opportunity to come in and contribute and help us. Um, after some of the acquisitions we made this summer, we felt like we needed we needed to fill that center position, and um, that was why we acquired Robin Lopez. Um, Keen Wark, um, the veteran, that will add to our front court depth. Um, he's been in the league. He's uh, has the ability to score with his athleticism and quickness, and uh, we look forward to watching him play this year. Um, on another note, one also talk about today. Austin Rivers um, had successful surgery on his ankle. He had a bone spur in his ankle. That um, the surgery went well today. We've been in communications with uh, the doctor that did the surgery, and um, we think uh, and we expected him to be back in time for training camp. Uh, we're not going to rush him back, um, but we we do expect that he'll be ready to play when training camp opens. And also um, Xavier Henry. Um, um, just had a successful knee surgery today also, and uh, he too, we, we expect, will be back in time for, for camp. And so uh, just wanted to make those announcements today. Question for Del. Do you anticipate Brian Anderson being a small forward and, and playing alongside Anthony Davis as a um, forward? Or I, I, I really lead, lead the playing up to the coach, um, but, you know, throughout his career, you know, he's been a power forward, and, you know, I think the way the NBA is right now, um, you have an opportunity to put guys out on the court, and, you know, their their individual talents is more important than they're actually their, the name of their position. And then Hakeem is listed as a power forward, but he's, he's shorter than any of the other power forwards you have on the roster now. Do you anticipate him perhaps sliding over in the three, or does he have that capability? Um, I mean, I think, I think that's something that we'll have to figure out, you know, uh, once we get in training camp and, you know, I think mine does a great job of putting guys in positions to be successful. The addition of Lopez obviously means you don't have to bring in a center or a player. Jason was saying many, but just talk about how um, acquiring Lopez can help develop the yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, first he brings a defensive presence. Um, and, you know, we, we've hung our hat on our defense since we've been here. And, you know, his size and athleticism we think will really, you know, anchor our defense. Uh, we look forward to, to watching him compete. You know, he, he, he was in town. He wanted to come here today, but he had a flight he had to get on, and we couldn't get here in time. Uh, but, you know, just spending some time with him yesterday, he, he's thrilled to be here and looking far forward to being a part of our future. How, how did the, uh, how did the, the uh, Miller thing enter into this, and, and how were you able to move that back after acquiring it so quickly? Can you brief us on that? Well, it, I saw some things printed that said that Miller's, the Brad Miller's contract actually went to Phoenix, not right. to Minnesota. Right. So since we were able to, to, to acquire that contract with cap space, um, you know, we were able to move it immediately and aggregate it in another trade. And so that, that was that the procedural issue that you were waiting for clarification on? No, no, it was another um, situation. And to, to keep it simple, um, Basically, there's there's a rule regarding how teams can receive and accept cash payments, and it's a new rule in the new collective bargaining agreement, and it's the way it's interpreted, and the interpretation of that rule is a little, um, you know, it's, it's a little confusing, and you know we had to make some changes because of that rule, but um, you know both, I, I, you know, I like to thank you know, David Kahn and Lon Babby for, for sticking with it, and we were able to come up with a solution to make it work. The Suns apparently don't have plans on keeping Jerome. A at what point could he return here if you were interested in bringing him back? Um, per league rules, uh, when you trade a player in a new collective bargaining agreement, you cannot have a player return to your team for a year. A year. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, you know, we like Jerome. We thought that he played well at the end of last season, but unfortunately, you know, we will not be able to bring him back this season. Um, 
I think we're getting pretty close. We're almost there. You know, I don't, I don't think we're, we we finalized the roster yet, but we're we're getting pretty close. And um, uh, you know, I think we'll probably have a couple more signings before um, training camp starts in October. I mean, we're pretty close to finished. You know, we're we're, we're pretty close. We like the roster the way it is right now. Um, I say we're we're pretty close. Um, I, I like the, the the youth on the team and the upside and um, the potential to grow. I mean, I think I think we'll be a fun team to watch. Uh, uh, you know, we have a number of young players on our, our roster, and you know, Robin he he fits into that category when we talk about young veterans. You know, 24 years old, um, been in the league four years. Uh, you know, with Ryan and Eric, you know, we're looking forward to seeing those guys play for us. You know, I think the goal was long-term success. You know, we want to have sustained success. And, um, you know, when we made some um, trades earlier this season, you know, I think we, we, we looked at our roster and we, we decided, you know, we wanted to make a, a – you know, we wanted to have a new look, a, a, a fresh start. And, you know, we thought this was the best opportunity for us to have sustained success. Um, man, I wish I had it in front of me. I don't want to guess. <laughs> I'm not good with that. But we'll, we'll, we'll send out a release later on today. I actually just got off the phone with the, the, the surgeon that, that performed the surgery, and he said that you know it was it, you know everything was you know everything went um, as expected. Everything went well, and we're expecting a full recovery. Um, I think you have to sit down and say, you know, what is your goal? What is, what is what is the end game? What are you looking to accomplish? And um, you know, we we've made an organizational decision that you know we wanted to to build for the future. And you know, we you know I think with our draft, some of the signs that we made, some of the moves that we made, I think that we we're putting together a young core that we're gonna get an opportunity to watch grow. And you know, I think you know also I think guys like you know Xavier Henry, Al Farouk Aminu, um you know, they're they're both 21 years old, and uh, you know when you add Brian and Eric and Robin, they're 24, and Austin and Anthony are 19. Um, I think we have a really young core that we're gonna have an opportunity to grow and watch, and I think it'll be fun. I think we're gonna take some bumps and bruises along the way, but I think in time we're gonna be giving some out as well. <laughs> I think so, but I think we'll be competitive next year. I really do. I really encourage people to come out and watch us. I think we got some young players with with talent that um, you know we we're we're going to come out and compete. You know, we're not going to just go lay down next year. I I think we're going to be fun to watch. Uh, Monty and I, uh, you know, even talking, you know, three, four, five times a day about you know how we're excited about our roster right now. Technical. Yeah. Yes. 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 The cap space. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you acquire, like you know, one of the rules is that when you acquire a player, um, there's a certain time frame that you can't trade that player again with another player, you can't aggregate the salaries together unless the player that you required was required with cap space and not an exception. And so that's why we were able to do it. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Joe. Okay.